So my kind of life verse is Colossians 3, 2 and 3. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. And that verse grabbed me because I was memorizing Colossians and it speaks to me because we got to have a heaven, heavenward focus if we're going to serve Christ meaningfully here on earth. The Bible verse that has probably impacted me the most over this semester is a verse in Psalms and it says, it was good that I was afflicted that I may know your statutes. And that's something I've never been able to say thank you for the hard times. I really struggle with that. And over this semester, I read that verse and I was like, I want to know God's statutes. So give me those hard times over again because I'd rather have God's statutes. And that if I'm not having a hard time through different trials, then I'm not gonna know Christ as, as uh, deep as I could. So I was finally able to say thank you for those times. I want to know your statutes. So uh, I would like to quote uh, the first Bible verse that we taught uh, our two-year-old daughter. Uh, so I'll quote her that Bible verse in Lithuanian. Pasitikėk viešpačiu visą savo širdimi ir nesivadovauk savo supratimu. Patarliu 3.5 Which is Proverbs 3.5 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Um, so I've had the privilege to attend uh, the Doctrine One class here in Appalachian Bible College. Uh, and God is just teaching me a lot through that class. Um, we are currently focusing on inscripturation. Um, and the Bible verse that comes to mind there is 2 Timothy 3.16, which says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Uh, and I think that verse is, is really, uh, really neat to me because it shows that God's words are truly inerrant uh, and, they are, and they are true. And um, that is just a blessing to my life, knowing that I have a God who, who's, who, tell, who communicates with me through words that are 100% pure and true. John 13, 7 has been a really helpful verse to know that the experiences that God is letting me go through are not in vain. And He's letting me go through those experiences to uh, grow me and to teach me some things that I need to need to go through. This verse is right after the Last Supper when the disciples are experiencing uh, Jesus washing the, his feet. And Peter, uh, when Jesus comes to Peter, Peter asks him why he, is he doing this? And Jesus answers, What, do, what do thou know is not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Respondió Jesús y les dijo, Lo que yo hago, tú no lo comprendes ahora, mas lo entenderás después. So a scripture that I've just been meditating on this semester has been Psalm 1914. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And that's just been a really big encouragement to me, talking about just no matter what I'm doing, I want it to be done um, acceptably in God's sight and just making sure that the focus is always on Him and glorifying Him. So the book of Philippians overall has been extremely encouraging to me, um, specifically Philippians 4 and just um, in whatever state we are to be content. Um, sometimes we're in situations where it's easy to be discontent or it's easy to look at our circumstances and say, why am I going through this? Or why did God put me in this place right now? But we can trust through that that God um, has foreordained all of our paths and He knows where we're going to go and He's going to provide for us every step of the way. So Philippians 4, um, knowing that wherever we are, He's going to provide and we should be content through that. One Bible passage that has been really significant to me recently is John 17, 17, which states, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Um, one of the teachers here, Dr. Rinker, that's one of his favorite verses. and through his classes that he teaches on doctrine, he, he emphasizes over and over again the importance of God's Word and that that is what he has given to us and that is the basis of our lives in Christ. 